What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. I'm back. Thank you for having me. As you can see on your screen, I brought some friends with me. Um, I'm not doing a big intro right now because it's a secret show. It's actually two secret shows. Two secret shows. One I probably never talk about. The other one is probably gonna be up very, very soon. So you can see what this really looked like before I went on hiatus. All right. So on your screen, you might notice that female we call the Boston Baked Bitch. New crack era DJ. DJ Beans is in the building. I like Beans. And, okay. <laughs> Next. Okay. Next. Your favorite fucking engineer, Mr. Fuck Your Feelings, aka all of a sudden, Big Friends the Pragmatic, CEO of Mad Bull Production Studios in Harlem, New York. Big Friends is in the building. <laughs> All facts and um, the elusive one, <laughs> the metropolitan one, the world traveler, globe trotter, multi talented. Who's <laughs> Ellis is in the building? <laughs> Listen, y'all see what the format is. Let me not do too much talking. Let's get right to the shits, real. I'm back now. Let me just say a couple things real quick, okay? I know my notes is out of order right here. Okay, I bought a fucking house. I want to talk about this house right now. Congratulations, nigga. I'm blurry. Which is cool. Thank you. That's dope. Okay. Congratulations. So I'm going to be blurry. I'm blurry, but that's fine. We'll fix that next show. Okay. So you look good on the top one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I need time? to talk to you about. I, I got to. I, I moved on. I had a relationship. I moved on. Didn't work. Strong. It's cool. We all right. Strong. Me and the ex is cool. It's like, it's fine. Everybody's fucking happy. Listen. So I buy this fucking house. Where's my notes at on this house? Okay. This house, I want to talk to y'all. I met the dude real quick. I met the dude before I bought the house. I show up with my realtor. Sweating. I show up with my realtor. They inspect in the house. The guy come out in the driveway. I talk to him. White guy, right? Important for this conversation. White guy, right? He cool, right? He got a thousand CDs in his house. He say whatever you want me to. I'm not, I don't want you to leave no CDs. What are we talking about right now? But he was cool with dude. I'm like, I right, bet. So I get to, I, I, I move it to, so when I come to the house, first day, right, my realtor say, is the keys in the lockbox? You want me to give you the code for the lockbox or you want me to come over to open it for you? I don't need you. You sold me the house, I'm good. I don't need to see you. Give me the code for the lockbox. Get the code to the lockbox, no key in the lockbox. Mm. I own this motherfucker. No key in the no lockbox. Call my realtor. Realtor, call the fucking dude. Yada, yada, yada. They say they're going to bring it to me in like 20 minutes. I'm waiting on the fucking porch for an hour and a half. On your house? My, I own it. But you're not in it. I don't got I the key. I would have broke into that motherfucker. I got the fucking key. So I call my realtor back. They going back and fucking forth. This nigga done bought a house a mile and a half from me. So I pull up and go get the key. Right? At his house. I'm like, he's... So I'm like, eh, give me the garage door opener. Cause that you said you was gonna like make sure that shit was working. I don't. He's like, fine, give me the he gave me the I go home. I unlock the fucking door to my new house that I own. The alarm system goes the fuck off. <laughs> now I'm black. Right? I got black neighbors, I got black. white neighbors. I'm out in front of a fucking house. With a fucking alarm going away. I'm waiting for the cops to show up. I'm at the edge of my driveway down there like this. You know what I mean? I'm calling <laughs> my realtor. Like the fucking alarm going off. He called a dude. He gave me the code. I turned the shit off. Right? So let's talk about this fucking house. All right. The, I got motion lights on my uh, garage. I like that shit. Right? So I go stepping and fucking with the motion shit. Nothing. I got a neighbor next door, electrician guy. It's a ladder. I'm scared of fucking heights. I get the fucking ladder. I call my electrician dude next door. I'm like, yo, what's up with these? Do these? He's like, I don't know why them shits ain't working. He always out here playing basketball with the lights. Fucking, I'm saying, bro, I think, uh, you know what? This nigga might have just unscrewed, right? So he climb up the fucking ladder. He screw, screw, boom, work. Nigga, what? Listen, what else? Listen. How many mic powers does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> one with enough balls to climb a ladder and so look all the blinds 
all the blinds, you know, over here on this side of the blinds, you pull them up and down, open them up, them bitches tied up in fucking knots. All my smoke detectors! Took them bitches off. Garage door, right? I got to program my garage door opener. I got everything working. Motherfucker open, won't close. Boom, open, boom, won't close. I'm Googling. I'm not technical. I'm not a handy nigga. <laughs> I'm on Googling shit. I'm at YouTube, nigga. Look. So they said, yo, it's probably the sen them little things at the bottom of the sensor. They see each other. They talk to each other. I look on the ground. In front of that shit. He then took the, somebody took the fucking thing off the track, the sensor off the is laying on the ground. Yeah. My ex think I'm paranoid that I think this nigga tried to play me because he ain't like the fact that a black dude bought this house. This dude in this house, I went and seen this whole house before I bought it. I bought it, I liked it. All of a sudden I come back. You know what this nigga does? He kills, he had a gnat problem. He was killing gnats and smacking the wall and leaving them on the wall. Nigga, am I lying? <laughs> That's petty. That's petty. I know yeah, where he, he was fucking at. with I, you. I, I know, he I know was where fucking he with you. I know where he lives. I was about at. to say he he moved he moved right up the street from you and he wants to fuck with you like that. Oh, I April just, Fool's I just Don't like prison. Okay. Listen, there's certain things you can do <laughs> that will fuck up his entire day, and you don't have to go to jail. We won't talk about this off air, friends. Because you want to tell me all of those things. Let's I have a couple ideas for you two off air. Do I have to show my face? Not at all. Okay. Now we talking. Now we cooking with fish grease. Now, let's start this motherfucking show. I want to say thank y'all. These people that's on the screen right now, let's get one thing straight. He was gracious enough to come join me on this project because they believe in me. I believe in them. They was all out doing these things before I got on the scene. It's my honor to have them. Thank y'all for being here with me. Thank y'all for y'all patience. And uh, believing in this mission. Let's get right to it. Video Soul might come back. Donnie Simpson. Let's do, listen. Every day after school, 13, 14, 15 years old, no homework was getting done until I was watching Video Soul. And then Rap City. Am I right about this, French? It was Video Soul and then Rap City. Rap City is what I want back. With the, who was the, the dude, who's the dude with the big lips? Chris Thomas? Pause. Chris Thomas. <laughs> he was the first, right? Was he the first? Mayor. The mayor of Rap City. Okay. So let's talk about we can talk about Rap City. We can talk about but Donnie Simpson? It's like my uncle. Like he used, he took care of me when I was a teenager. He had all the jam. He had Mickey Howard on there. He had crazy ass Jesse Johnson on there with the hair and everything. New edition had an awkward ass moment on there, right? That was after Donnie, I think. They had an awkward, real like a breakup kind of moment on video soul. It was that show. Donnie Simpson still looked the same way he looked from 1986. Anybody? Thoughts? Listen. Um, I wasn't allowed to watch TV back then. I mean, that shit's been off the air for what, like 20 something, 25 something years, <laughs> something like that. So uh, I wasn't allowed to watch TV growing up. I had to sneak certain shit. So I got, I caught Rap City a few times. Um, if, if I recall, Aaliyah was on there, was she not? Aaliyah was on 106 in Park, I believe, with R. Kelly. Damn, why did you bring this up? Another conversation. Another conversation. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for the next one. And they was we'll matching. The they, was, they was matching. Back, back, forth and forth. Girl, please. Listen. Um, <laughs> Yo, Beans, stop I wasn't it, allowed stop, to watch stop TV it, stop neither. It, stop that. Stop that. Okay. Beans, I wasn't allowed to watch the TV neither. But Rap City came on in the hours before my parents got back to the house. Remember that shit. I remember I would have from 4 o'clock to about 5.15 before my mama got in from work and I was home from school. And that, that video soul stretch into Rap City. And then like if they bring back Rap City, I need them to bring back the booth with the toilet and the rapping. I need that. And I need oh, all man, the spitters. Sorry. To go back to the booth, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that come back, it's you already know. Like, it's a long list of MCs we want to see lined up by the toilet. Yo, you know who ripped the booth? Who? Dips, and specifically Jewel Santana. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my yes. God. Okay. That was like the TV mixtape type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you if. If a if an MC on there couldn't get in the booth and rip it, rap. Here's the problem 
with, with Deuce's idea. Great idea on paper. But then I got to see all of these fucking bums come in that motherfucking booth because of the money that they got to make. I want to see Deuce Ellis in the booth. I want to see Jamal Gasol in the booth. I want to uh -huh. see Ito in the booth. I want to see Rome Streets in the booth. I want to see Flea in the booth. Listen, speaking. That's what, no, that's the line I'm talking about. I'm not talking. They not going to do that. Yes, yes, they are. That's what I'm saying. Like, they have all to. of this is coming back. For real, for real. To. All of this is coming back because the boom bap shit now has dollar signs attached to it. Okay. I mean, look what's happening. Look what it, it is. That's, that's why it's it coming back. It's a hip hop cause, renaissance. Because boom bap got, no, because boom bap got dollar signs attached to it now. Like, it looked like it's worth money to a couple people. In I my opinion, if they were going to bring back a video show, they should have gave all that money to Uncle Ralph. Ooh. Ralph McDaniels. Shout to the video music me? box. Come on, B. Shout. Don't, don't nobody deserve that bread more than him. Nobody. Listen. Because Listen. He, without, he, without, without video music box, this show right here might not exist. Listen. Uncle Ralph? Me, Uncle McDaniels? Ralph? Listen. I'll tell you a little secret. Before I was a producer, before I was a DJ, before I was any of these things, I was a hip hop dancer. I used to be dancing in videos and shit. <laughs> that ass. Listen, you can, laugh all you, want. you can laugh all you want. Me and my nigga. I mean, my head's laughing. been. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Fritz, can we? Can me and you get up? Hey, Fritz, can we both get up and virtually do the kid and play? Can we? You, <laughs> all do the it. niggas that I know was b boys. Listen, listen. Tell them dancers back in the days was thugs like. If you tried to play a, a dance, and nigga, he would stab you, dead ass. I see yeah, in New York, video. in New York for sure. But hey, y'all, New York is where they. New York, Crazy Legs was in there. You know what I'm saying? They weren't playing around. Right. I'm just saying. Hip hop started with dancing. That's Listen, like you knew. I knew that that people that dance in New York would kill you. When I watch my, when I when I watch Michael Jackson bad video in oh, the, the subway, video. I said these niggas. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then also he was letting you know dancers was gangster because beat it. Beat it. Beat Them it. niggas holding on to each other. <laughs> With the knife in the other hand. Mm. Word. Right, you wanna dance, you wanna fight. Choose. Is that what was going on? <laughs> I mean how gangster when he, he gets on the shit when he gets on the whip to bash it in with the bat, you know, the shirt in the back. Um. That's gangster. mad gangster. If you can make your shirt fly in the wind while you're trying to intimidate a whole fucking block, nigga. By himself. And you got the S curl. Nigga, that's not none of that hold shit on, is. Hold on. Since we all beat it though, did you ever really listen to the to the lyrics of Beat It? Mike was go. talking mad shit. What, what was he yeah. saying? Mike says a line, he goes, nigga said, if 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 you don't if if you don't believe what I'm saying, then smack me in my face. Mike Is that said beat that. It? Yes. Yeah. Was I too busy practicing the dance moves in the living room? You know, the I, was room? About, I might need to go back. Right. I might need to go back. Wait, wait, like, wait, like, wait. In other words, Mike is saying, if you really gangster, go ahead and hit me. I dare you. Which I didn't, Pete, though, is in the, the way you make me feel video. Oh. He ends, and my nigga turns into a Black Panther. What do you mean? Who missed that? No, 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 he talked about the saying, significance. Like, like, it's, a, it's a little extra in there, you know what I mean? He oh, said, I may be listen. turning white before your eyes, but I'm still down with the struggle. Mike was the king of the subliminals in his videos. You shit me? Certainly. But that way you made me feel video is very much doesn't age well. <clears throat> me too era. Because this girl was steadily trying to get the fuck away, man. <laughs> he followed this chick like six blocks. He on top of other people's whips. She try, he's stopping her like, listen, <laughs> and you know, listen, he go another, you, you all ready for another one? Uh, Kelly we went, we're way off something, too. like, on some real <laughs> shit, like, we were talking about Donnie Simpson and the video, so if we were giving anybody that money to come back, it should have been Uncle Ralph. If you go back to so many songs, though, that, like, you really listen to them and you're like, no, no, oh, listen, no. Listen, you know that, that, that classic? Disco record, up Love Come Down. Love Girl, you make, you, 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 it's a whole song about a bitch coming. I like that. So, wasn't, wasn't Evelyn Champagne King? Wasn't, yeah. wasn't Rain 
Rain was about getting nutted on, wasn't it? Rain, Rain on me. That's a shot, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, the Wait. SWV song, right? Yeah, yeah, the Sometimes SWV song. Sometimes that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That was all yeah. about the facials, baby. Um, that Hitler wear. Hey, listen. Um, Hitler wears. Hitler wears. How am I? Should I say? Hermes. 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 Hwha. Yeah, I shouldn't even Hermes, say the first. But I should even say the first say one. Hermes. The new, the new West Side Gun album. Let me. I'm gonna go on this one. I'm gonna go. I got some things to say. That everybody heard this album. I, I'm talking about when I say has everybody heard the album. I mean the Beans and Deuce listened to it. French, he don't do no homework ever. I was in the I, studio I, I, when they was making it. He was in the studio with uh, Gun. Yeah. Okay. Was now, like now. So okay. So before I get into what I want to say, Deuce, you was in the room when these things was being done. Talk to me about what you know. saw in the process. I remember, I'm going to rewind. I'm going to rewind. I remember Camouflage Monk staying at my crib. You've been in that crib. And him getting a phone call from West Side Gun. Like, yo, I need work. And this is when they, you know what I mean, starting to build again. I watched Monk go upstairs and make 50 beats. Camouflage like Monk? Four hours. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I watched him. He went and made like 50 beats in like four hours. And then... The next morning, I think he made like another 40. Right? Man, I was working. So I don't then, work hard enough. I do not work some hard of enough. Joints, huh? I don't work hard some enough. Joints, Somebody made 50 I beats? I remember hearing some of them joints, and one of those is on the uh, the album. So, yo, West was in rare form. I don't know if he gets enough credit as a lyricist. I know he wants more credit as a curator. And, um... Okay, Deuce, not to cut you off, let me get to what I was going to do then, because you set it up perfectly. You set it up perfectly. Let me say what I got to say. And Mike, just make this shit quick, bro. The album that I listened to, let me just say this. A couple of people told me before Both I really sides, got a chance right? to listen to it, they didn't really like the album that much, right? Both so, sides, right? Huh? Both sides, right? Right. So, and then when I first listened to I listened to like two songs, I wasn't in the right frame of my mind. If you follow my channel, if you've seen the times I've talked about West Side Gun, did album reviews, you will realize for some reason every single time I turn on a West Side Gun album, I'm like, huh? Nah. And then I'll listen to it again in the right state of mind. It'll click. I got notes, right? So let me just say what I said on my notes. It's hard for me to it's hard for me to say it's album of the year because I haven't heard everything. Now we all know that you know Rome is in there in the contender for that. I know I had uh, Roaring Twenties by Ark and Saint Chris, incredible album. But it's hard to imagine that album not being in the conversation for album of the year. Listen, um, it sounds like he was out to prove the haters, prove to the haters the fullness of his talents. Cat say he can't rap. Deuce touched on that. He rapped on this that. fucking album. And he made other people rap. Did this you is the other thing, Deuce. Deuce, this you is you the other him? thing. He showed Did you, you his... The first that he got from Wayne. You took... Bruh, Deuce, it's on the paper. I'm going to keep it... This might not make it to, to, to fucking air, but this will be in my vault. It says on my notes, <clears throat> he showed you his curation skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have that written in my notes too. I literally have written in my notes about Wes being a curator. It's so important. The reason why it's so yeah. important, the reason why it's so important, people, people at home watching from around the world, the reason why the curation part is so important because you got access to all this talent and everybody wants to work with you, West Side Gun. And you could just go, duh, duh, duh. And he goes, nah. I mean, I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic salt over here. I'm going to put a little, like, it's, well, listen, he shows that he's not insecure. He got Rome Streets, and on other cuts, he got people leading off. He got people leading off on this on, on cuts on this album that 99.9% .9 of rappers would be intimidated to even have these niggas appear on. But and he just give, he give Rome the, the first verse on the cut, time. like, nigga, go. And then Rome just, and then everybody shows up. So listen, do I think that Stove God did everything perfect when he presented shit for this album? No. I don't think nobody does anything perfect. I think that West Side Gun chose the best shit. 
That's what the fuck I think. And I think, and you see Stove Guy all over this album. Stove Guy cooks. He's a blessing from God. Flat the fuck Amen. out. Flat the fuck out. Listen. What's what? Listen. What's the the song right now? Yo, that verse from Jada. Jada. And he Jada Jada sound like he hurt him, but that shit, that song right there is a standout track without. Him. And when I listened to that cut, I said to myself, I said to myself, they did a long run. I interviewed the designer. Shout out to Ronald Reagan. Follow him. IG. At LE365. Five part interview. He gave me the whole history of Griselda. Right. And they've been doing this for a long time. I started covering them just as they was about to crack. They cracked while my show was going. Watch this. All the way. It wasn't that long. Up and coming. Struggling. They need to get these niggas. It'd be great to get Jada on a cut. West Side Gun. Would have thought. Nine months ago. 10 months ago. Now watch this. Now he is helping make Jada Kiss relevant again. I'm talking to somebody. He done put Jada on his album. You put new life in the Jada Kiss. On the heels of that versus performance. Oh, I love you Jada Kiss. Listen, this album, the B-sides, somebody else talk. Beans, talk to me. Yo, I got so much to say. I'm sorry. I got to try to sum it up too. But first of all, I just want to say <clears throat> West Side Gun put Jada and Styles on, uh, uh, put, uh, that was on the Benny, remember, what was it? The, uh, the West Side Gun album a couple ago that they, they did the back and forth. Who made the sunshine? Nah, nah, nah even before, before that, that, the one with Edo on it. Yes, the pre Brian Tell. Okay. They did Jay, another back seat. Then you got his oldest stuff like Downstate. So that's why I like the old Hitler series because that's where, for me, Wes was rapping. Now, for me, curation. that This is so key because, for me, sequencing uh, what I'm doing with my new album, this is exactly what Wes does. This is why he is a standout mogul. So to me, I saw a lot of people on Twitter. I try not to see what other people are saying before I listen to stuff. So I go into it with an open mind. Right. So now I saw a lot of people on Twitter bashing side A and talking about how side B is it. So I want to, without, I, I, I have so much to say about it, but to kind of sum it up, side A to me was, was a fucking Stove God Cook album with West Side Gun featuring and, and like Rome and stuff like that. Um, Therefore, I loved Side A. All these people hating on it. Um, not super familiar with this Denny LaFleur that he has producing a lot, um, but the Lil Wayne joint. I have hated Lil Wayne for years ever since he said fuck DJs. I think he's been weak, but who else was he on? Was it Khan's joint? The, the last two features he's done, Lil Wayne gave us, I can't feel my face, Lil Wayne. Thank you very much. I love it. And let's I not just gloss over that. I'm going to let you get right back to your point. It's Lil Wayne on the West Side Gun album. It's Lil Wayne with Conway. It's Lil Wayne with Griselda. You talk about a legit fucking legend. They're in a whole, they're in a whole different league right now. Go ahead, Beans. No, but definitely. And that's the thing. And Con's good at doing this, too. Just like you said, Wes got these motherfuckers rapping. Because right now, Griselda is the one that opened the doors for hip-hop again. And we know this. So that's why all yep. these legends are coming forward. And they are rapping. They are they rapping, rapping, rapping. They're producing. You know what I'm saying? So not to go into other people's albums, but it's the same thing. Like Con and them, they bring the best out of these rappers. Rome Streets, I was so happy to see it because, of course, Rome just keeps getting better and better. He came through, annihilated it. West Side <laughs> Pootie got on there, told motherfuckers to jump off a bridge. Guess what? These boys have found a balance between the a new school shit and old school Griselda fans. They found a fucking balance so nobody can complain about shit. She preaching so this Sunday, West y'all. She preaching this Sunday. And this ain't even a real Sunday. But she preaching. <laughs> you know? Hallelujah. But West, but wait, West to me, me is not on one of my said. favorite rappers. But he is a phenomenal A&R and a curator and the way he brings people together. So Stove God has kind of carried his last couple of albums, in my opinion. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, side B, I mean, we're talking all together. We got like 
33 tracks. So he delivered two full albums. I'm sick of the EP shit. And I have been preaching to bring this shit back. There's not even skits. The I just want to say a couple of things, though. God, uh, it's the beginning is both, both sides start out with the uh, the intro skit and then the A.A. Rashad uh, intros. And then it doesn't, both of them don't start heavy till about track three, which is why I could see, you know what I mean? You might interpret it as a Stove God Cooks album. But then, like, when you go a little deeper, because there's also, like, um, it's the boy from Detroit, uh, Boldy. Boldy, Boldy but Boldy puts me to sleep. Towards the end. I mean, like I said, the stand, he got that stand up. He said, um, that's let's what, be, hold yo, on. Fed, Fed, found, Fed found bodies from all the dirt that we did. That's when I learned cleanliness was next to godliness. Like, yo, it's it's one of those things, like, and I'm gonna I'm be real. I'm gonna be real right now. I'm intricate with it. I'm intricate with it. Like, there's not a bar on the album that I have not missed. You know what I'm saying? From like the Wayne. And I haven't like, gone to die. That it like that the soft yet. denim. Star so denim. I can't argue. With black belt Balenciaga jeans. He has soft denim. Got that bow denim. That sar all oh, cheese. That sar denim. Like I'm telling you, like every bar, I'm meticulous with it. Like I grew up where West grew up. You know what I'm saying? So what I really appreciate is that there's levels to West's bars on this album that aren't gonna get caught for a minute. Like the one test, the two fiends. I made them wrestle. Um, stepped up in the club with the two no hassle, the the Balenciaga cowboy boots with the tassels. Like, you know what I mean? Brought the castle that looked like Art Basel. Like, I'm saying. Listen, yeah, I did catch like that one. Time. I so caught that just, one. So let me just let me just say but that. Look, and I, West and, is a designer well, no, no, and into this, art, so a lot of people might not get that stuff. Point off, let, let, all right, we're gonna let this finish. What you said, Beans. Beans, you was pointing out how like it bridged the gap from older and newer Griselda fans, but I think it's a little bit. Deeper than that, like when you see the fact that bringing the swell of, of artists like Rome, Sauce Walker, um, Stove, and letting them become prominent, and on the same note, having them be in the same lane with legends like Wayne and Jada Kiss, and then being able to be the bridge that allows relevancy and that spark to both, that's really the magic where Wes is at, is the fact that like he's the one that's able to bring that level from where the under underground is at to where like the legends of bar smiths are at and make it cool and, and able for everyone to finally eat in this realm. That's like fucking magic. And it let does, me say and that, that. That's exactly my point there. Too. What, so and I, now. And I definitely still have some other stuff to say too. I definitely remem do. Remembering me listening to it on the couch. Everybody just hold your horses. Deuce might have a robbery going down. French, I'm going to need you to dial nine and one, okay, and just be on hold for a minute in case this guy doesn't come back. But Thriller. Thriller. This might be a Thriller moment for me. The album is so – She's. would you say 33 songs? Yeah. What percentage of the album? What what, what percentage of them thirty three songs are duds? So I haven't been able to dissect it the way I want to. Um, I will tell you the only standout dud to me, and it is two disappointments in a row, is I hate these Green Lantern drunken beats, like the one he did on Ito's shit on the beauty of it. So on side B, the the Green the ninety nine Avrex. It's like those drunken style beats. And I just, that to me, I can't do it. I can't even make it through the song because the beat is that obnoxious to me. And I, can, I just, can I just say one thing? Because it's been in my mind for a long time. Here we go again. I'm going back to the original setting, French. Come on. If, if it was off, it wouldn't change your fucking views. Like, no, you know what it is? It's, there, oh. There's some moments that, like, you know, we could have done without. Oh. Um, Right, like the huh? DJ Clue shit, they could have skipped right to the the Con and Benny shit, like that song. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. I back. No, no, that's God, nigga. And I'm and I'm not gonna but stop listen, saying. I'm not gonna stop. Listen, this is one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. Bitch, gonna ask me if I'm a millionaire? About to go on your grill, beans. About the pans I got and that feet. That shit in the oven, bitch. Wow, I, wow. I got that shit in car. Nah, that's camouflage, man. I'm not even going. Go back and listen to that. You got it. You got to see. So, exactly like why. I told you, I haven't been able to dissect it. I've been very busy, and I haven't been able to dissect it. Okay, so I've made that clear. 
And you yeah, also you never let say, me finish everything I was saying before you jump down my throat. Get him. And I don't have to pause that because I'm a female. Listen, listen. That, oh, that, well, that is, that's all, my personal well, favorite track from defensive. now on. You haven't given I, me a chance to give my full overview of nothing yet. My bad. I you played that song and do in push here to curse me out, and then we agreed 100% on something. No, no, I wasn't cursing you out. That's the song. Like, that's just me repeating the song. That's not me cursing at you at all. That's that's Wes. That's not me. But he was doing the right. lyrics, Beans. Huh? He was doing the lyrics of the song. No, 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 no. I mean, when he jumped in talking about the whole bridging the gap thing and getting all crazy about it, I knew no, he was, no, was the lyrics. I got that part. Yeah. But I'm saying he got all defensive crazy. on me when I wasn't even done. Yes. So you didn't even hear right, what baby. I got to say. Like I said, I haven't gotten to dissect it. Conflict. So therefore, I can't sit here and tell you about Feed duds and all that because I have souls. to be able to really listen. I will tell you my standout tracks that I ran back and all that. Can I just say one thing? Because I'm going to forget. Still smelling like a brick right now. Ah, oh, still smelling like a brick right now. That's my shit, though. Me too. And then, and then, um, Rose Royce, a break light. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so, I just want to be, I just want to be successful. So anyway, as he was bitching at me about saying it was a Stove God Cooks thing, I'm just saying five out of 13 tracks on side A's got Stove God Cooks. So that was a compliment because I love it. I love Stove God and I love the way Wes puts him on like that. And it's actually the only time I can really listen to Boldy is on these features of, of Wes's, believe it or not, because Boldy is just very boring to me. Um, he Wes isn't on? Top. Beans! The one that Wes isn't on on side A is one Beans. of my like favorites. Beans. The, the well, one that got Ross Walker on it. Um, thou shalt not speak ill of Boldy James. I'm just playing. No, you say what you want saying. to say. I'm just, I'm I'm not just doing saying me. he doesn't have skills. He just he doesn't he doesn't tickle my fancy, darlings. That okay? boy right there is just a sickness on the mic. I got respect. I just listen. I'm okay, kidding. listen right here. So look, that's the end of the show. All right, y'all go click go click the next one. What the fuck was popping is your boy Mike Powers. Look, 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 look